Good morning. So it's called the XLV by Qterra, and it's an integral part of our practice. We're absolutely thrilled with it. And uh, so I'd like to show you a little bit of the treatment, talk about it now. Uh, I'm going to do a more formal lecture this afternoon at 5 p.m. Uh, it'd be great if you could attend that, but I'd like to share some of the treatment experience we have with the device right now. So one of my favorite things about the XLV is this, turning it on. Um, because if you've ever used vascular lasers, and I've used a bunch, I did a laser fellowship up at Skin Care Physicians in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts, and uh, so I was the fellow there, and if by mistake we turned off one of their vascular lasers, we were punished severely, because it would take a significant amount of time to get it back online. Uh, and in this case, you're gonna see this device, you know, is warm, ready to go in about 30 seconds, which is amazing. So I don't know if you can focus on the device right now. Um, there are uh, preset parameters from the company, which are great parameters. Uh, they're not underdoing it. And if you're a more advanced user, you can go ahead and set the parameters yourself. I'd like to show you how easy the interface is, so I'll click on that. Um, so in this case, we have a very fair patient. We can pick skin type two, telangiectasias, face less than two millimeters, and it's ready. Um, so basically, you have two wavelengths with this device. One is the 532 nanometer KTP. It's green light, it's an excellent vascular laser. Now the issue with other KTP lasers in the past has been you haven't been able to achieve a short enough pulse. So to have a vascular laser to treat absolutely everything that walks in the door of your office, you need to be able to achieve purpura. And this device is powerful enough to achieve purpura, uh, so it's fantastic. We're very, very happy with it. So the 532, it's a combination 532 and 1064. There's a sapphire cooled window and I'll show you how quickly the, you can achieve cooling. So in this case, it's 10 degrees Celsius. I push the button to ready. The safety shutter is removed, and literally within about 30 seconds, the sapphire window uh, cools down to 10 degrees Celsius, and you're ready to treat. So again, this is one of the uh, best features of the device. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my, that whistle means we're already ready to treat. So now I'm gonna go over to our patient, Karen, who's bravely volunteered her face. Ready? So I'm not sure how well we're able to focus. Can you turn your face a bit? The beauty of this, and I think how the, the elegant uh, part of this laser is that you can trace like a paintbrush, you can trace little vessels. So she has erythematotelangiectatic rosacea and sun damage. Ready, one, two, three and it just feels like a warm pulse. There's no snap of any spray. It's very gentle. And you can go ahead and trace the lesions. And uh, Dr. Green, at this point, I'm just going to introduce Dr. Whitney Bowe, who is in uh, private dermatology practice in Manhattan and uh, has a volunteer faculty position at Mount Sinai and SUNY Downstate. Those of you who are frequent attendees at uh, ODAT will know Dr. Bowe very well. She is one of our brilliant uh, rising stars, and she's going to be uh, moderating. I'm sorry, I couldn't really hear what you guys were saying out there. We're just saying hello. Does she have any topical numbing on right now, Dr. Green? She doesn't have any topical numbing. Um, I don't use any topical numbing ever. I like to have the feedback. I don't want it to be too painful for the patient. Um, I, okay, great. So, so I that, increased the cool? frequency a bit. So we can, I'd like to show you how easily I can trace these vessels. Is that just a cool ultrasound gel that you're using right now? It is ultrasound gel. Uh, is it room temperature or do you keep that refrigerated? I'm sorry, is I keep room it room temperature. temperature. Okay. So literally, we're at a three millimeter spot size and we're tracing these vessels and I don't know how well it's projecting, but they disappear. It's kind of a, a wow effect. And patients love it. I mean, because when we're done with the treatment, these vessels are gone. I counsel my patients that these on the cheeks are venules. They tend to be uh, low pressure, more easily collapsed vessels, whereas uh, around the nasal telangiectasias can be a bit more stubborn. We think they're arterially derived, so I tell them that those may be more resistant. So now I want to show you, I showed you a little bit of tracing the vessels, but I want to show you how easy it is to switch to a big spot size. So I don't know if you want to pan over to the laser. So now if I want to do a matting telangiectasias on the face, so I didn't need to put the laser into any cal port. I didn't need to stop, recalibrate, do anything. It's ready to fire, which is great. So you just fly through these vascular treatments. So now we're at a 10 millimeter spot, uh, seven joules per centimeter squared and 10 millisecond pulse. And now, you know, I can 
crank up the frequency to 1.2 hertz and literally you can fly through a treatment. And so I'll show you right now. And how's the discomfort with this laser? I, I find the discomfort, I mean, I've been zapped by uh, a lot of different vascular lasers in my time, <laughs> despite my youth, and uh, I find that it's very, very comfortable. There's no snappiness of any cryogen spray. Um, the window, the cooling, the sapphire cooled window is, is great. Yeah, so One of the best cool things thing. is you get pre, post, and parallel cooling. So here we go, ready, one, two, three. So you can literally fly through a treatment. The and beauty of, of this device is the visualization, because you're getting pre, post, and parallel uh, cooling. So literally, the cooling is, is continuous. And what you can notice with what Dr. Green is doing is that he's not actually putting too much pressure on the area, and that's actually important when you're treating a vascular lesion. You know, with certain sapphire tips, we're actually taught to put pressure on to help kind of maintain the comfort level for the patient. If you do that, when you're treating a vascular lesion, you're going to blanch that lesion. So when the laser actually, you know, starts emitting, you're not going to have your target there anymore. So he's just kind of gently going across the surface. It's a great point. It's one of my tips in the afternoon. I have a bunch of vascular laser tips in my afternoon session, and you don't want to remove the chromophore, so you're, you're kind of chasing your tail. If you push down when you have a compression vascular laser, you're completely removing the oxyhemoglobin target, and so you're not treating anything. So I did a little bit off the face to show you. I kept the same setting, so she's a bit pink right now. This is kind of a strong setting for the neck, but this is working fantastically well for our patients with poikiloderma. Can you turn to me? So again, I, I haven't started treating this cheek yet, and we'll start now. So this looks like it would okay? be great for, you know, rosacea, telangiectasias that are, you know, in the corners of the nose, um, your poikiloderma, any, any kind of It really um, is. Settings and again, the beauty lines. of this versus uh, other KTP lasers I've used is you can shorten the pulse to achieve purpura. That's been the knock on the KTP lasers in the past is that you need purpura to be able to treat port wine stains, you want to be able to treat scars, um, other conditions. And you see there's a bit of erythema. She's very comfortable during the procedure. There's no snapping, startling of any, any spray or anything else. Um, I'd like to show you how quickly you can switch to the 1064 nanometer wavelength as well. So with the push of a button, I can go to 1064. I mean, this and is there's a, huge a advantage. soothing, calming voice that tells you you're using the NDAG 1064. So I'm not going to do any of those treatments now. I'm going to do them in the afternoon. But I want to show you how easy it is. So those are long pulse. You have a 532 and a 1064 long pulse setting. Do you mind wiping the gel off? You can very easily switch to what's called laser genesis. It's an intermediate pulse. It's a 300 uh, microsecond pulse, NDAG, and what it is is it's sublative rejuvenation. Thank you. It's sublative rejuvenation. So what we do is we put about 5,000 to 7,000 pulses uh, into the skin, and this intermediate pulse, NDAG, it's an 8 millimeter spot, induces neocollagenesis. Uh, our patients absolutely love it because Dr. Brandt's patients want 100% results yesterday with zero downtime. And um, basically, the endpoint is just a minimal erythema. And patients at the risk of sounding cheesy say, I feel like my face is glowing. Um, so I always say at the risk of sounding cheesy because I think it does sound cheesy. But that's how they feel when they leave. And I have a whole cohort of patients. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to switch from one to the other. So that was your long pulse. So we love that. Uh, we love this laser uh, in our practice. We have a co whole cohort of patients who come back between three to five weeks for these treatments. And we call it laser toning, where we do first the 532 treatment on the full face to remove vessels, and then we do uh, the laser genesis. So here's the genesis. Uh, four joules per centimeter squared. It's a fixed eight millimeter spot. The 300 microsecond pulse I told you about. Push the button, it's ready very quickly. There's a temperature gauge on the side of the device, <clears throat> and when it gets to yellow, which you'll see, you're at about 39 to 42 degrees Celsius, and that's your goal. You want bulk heating of the skin safely and gently to induce these fibroblasts to form new collagen. So it's already ready to go. Uh, versus the previous generation, Genesis, there's actually an aiming beam. Can you turn a little bit to your left, ma'am? So there's an aiming beam that tells you you're about you know, 3.5 to 4 centimeters from the surface of the face, and then my frequency, I'm at 0.8 hertz, which is very low. So I'm normally at about 8 to 10, depending on the patient can tolerate it. And then literally, you're just painting. It feels a little bit warm. In every 100 pulses, you'll hear a little 
other blip that lets you know you're at 100 pulses. So I typically do 2,000 pulses on the cheek, 1,000 on the forehead, and then another 1,000 in the nose, upper lip, chin. And, and there's really not much of an endpoint, but your patients will love you. I have beautiful clinical pictures of reduction in pore size, improvement in texture, reduction of erythema. How is this feeling? Is it painful? She says it feels great. People really do. They say they love it. Um, that's rare. It's rare to have a laser that people say they love. <laughs> yeah, most so people. That's a, that's a nice thing. So it's kind of soothing. Um, it can be a little more sensitive around the forehead. You know, the, the skin is a bit thin, so you heat up quicker. You see the temperature gauge on the side of the device. My goal is to get the first yellow bar, which again is 39 to 42 degrees Celsius. And this is safe for all skin types, correct? The it is. We reduce the fluence for type 4 through 6, uh, and sometimes you reduce the frequency because they heat up faster. Also, men over the beard area, um, they heat up a bit faster. Anywhere there's chromophore, so people who have really impressive rosacea, it gets warmer faster. Makes sense, there's target for the 1064 nanometer wavelength. So the nice thing about having the 1064 is, is water's a chromophore. So you're getting absorption by water, hemoglobin, down there at the near infrared wavelength. Okay. So we love this. This is our go-to laser in our practice. I mean, in summation, it's so easy to use. And when Patients love it. she goes home, what should she be doing? What are her post-care instructions? I'm sorry? What are her post-care instructions when she goes her post -care, home? Her post-care, I usually tell my patients when I do vascular laser treatments, don't do anything that makes you flush for one to two days. Um, theoretically, it could raise your blood pressure, increase your heart rate, push blood through those vessels we're trying to collapse. Um, stay out of the sun. I say use a ton of ice because it can really reduce the amount of swelling. But other than that, I counsel them there can be delayed purpura, uh, so don't go absolutely insane. If you get a bruise, it'll go away like a normal bruise in about four to six days. And yeah, so there's not much aftercare. I mean, literally, when we just do the Genesis, it's treat and go. So people can go back to being socialites or whatever they are. Um, and my mom is there once every four weeks at least to see me for this treatment. So again, our patients are absolutely thrilled with it. Thank you so much. That was so helpful.